quick review of first to fight KFZ 13 armor car. Uh, looking at the sprues, it's, that's the kind of that's kind of like the number of pieces that's um, that's bearable for me. Uh, there's quite a few little tiny bits which um, uh, you know, maybe may be a bit fragile, but it, then certain you know, the number of parts is uh, is um, is uh, is what I consider as the um, thing. Um, so I'll put that together and um, and show you what it looks like after. I've got to mention it comes with um, decal sheet. Part three of the review of First to Fight KFZ 13, which is the um, very early war uh, German reconnaissance uh, vehicle. I think it's in Poland, and um, my guess is it's probably in France as well, at least for some of the infantry divisions. Because the 1939 sort of all chart was like a, you know, the plan. And so as the uh, SDKF said, 221s were built, uh, replacing these, they would have replaced in the um, armoured divisions first. Uh, that's my guess anyway, I mean, I don't know. But they're definitely in Poland apparently. So that's it, it's not properly finished painting or decals or anything yet. Because um, cause you know, I just wanted to show what the, what the kit was like, um, which is, you know, and yeah, it's good. Uh, you know, it's just a car with a, some armor plating on it and a machine gun. But it's a very simple kit. Uh, no kind of room for uh, any major errors. You know, the, the parts all fit onto the um, places uh, that they're designed for. It's all quite straightforward. There's um, no crew, which is you know good in one way because um, they tend to get in the way when I when I do it anyway. But you know if you're a modeler, you might want to add some crew in if you can find some. You have a guy. There's a seat there for the driver, and um, and a seat there for the guy on the machine gun. Um, yeah, that's so you know nice, nice little thing. I like it. Uh, the other aspect of it, I mean, the um, apart from the decals and stuff, the, uh, the, the the only problem with these kits is the um, the German grey, the early war grey. You know, no camouflage pattern, no camouflage pattern is very dull. So I was thinking of um, basing them just for the contrast. Um, you know, so you just you know get a base that's the right size and you know just wax them. Uh, Flock on it and some tufts or whatever, just to you know get, get, create a contrast in the colour, you know, make it green. Um, obviously, I need to you know paint it more slash better. Uh, and if you look on the um, on the image on the box, see those like light silver lines along the edges. So that's something I can do. You know, do some dry brushing to just uh, just to create some contrast along the edges of the different armour plates. But then, you know, added to that, you know, if you've got some green grass at the bottom, that'll, um, that'll make it look nice. So I haven't put the decals on yet, because I'm going to do that at the end. And uh, as, a view, as a review goes, it's not really necessary to show what it, um, what it eventually, you know, or, you know, the shape of the kit and the rest of it. Um, so yeah, I, I really like it. I mean, it's, it's nice. And uh, while I'm at it, because I you know, found these bases... I mean, I had them before, but I don't know what I've gone for. But I found these bases for just the right size. These are 80 by 40, the bases. Um, so I thought I'd base all these uh, first to fight kits I've got. You know, despite the controversies about basing tanks on things like um, Plastic Crack podcast. Yes, yeah, that's the plan. I'm going to do all of those, um, glue them on, you know, while you know, get some uh, flock, glue them on, maybe some tufts or whatever, just to um, add contrast to the vehicles, and then uh, finish painting them. Um, just doing, uh, I don't know, I mean, I say, I've, I've looked at various um, videos of people doing weathering, and uh, you know, it's all a bit more complicated than I'm particularly uh, bothered about. So I'll just uh, probably just do dry brushing to. Um, Add some little um, you know, white lines to it all, and uh, stick the decals on. 
and uh, there you go. Jobs are <laughs> not jobs are good, ones, but jobs and an averaging. So uh, yeah, so anyway, it's meant to be a, rev a review. Uh, first fight, KFC had 13. Really nice, up to, you know, it's a particularly nice one I like. You know. It's uh, you know, it it just ticks the boxes for me. Just you know, simple, but um, it's got a, that whole you know, early war made in the shed kind of vibe to it, which I particularly like. So that's good, yeah. KFC 13, very excellent. While I'm at it, I was mentioning another one that I got, which is the uh, KZ 14, um, which I don't need, but I just wanted it. And that's basically the command vehicle for the um, platoons, that, you know, for the KFZ 13 platoons, which is basically the same vehicle, but minus uh, a machine gun and with a uh, um, aerial at the top, because it's kind of the radio vehicle for the um, reconnaissance. And that's basically the same kit as the KFZ-13 as well, and I'm not going to do a, a thing on it, but it's, it's basically the same kit, except minus the machine gun and with the um, added uh, aerial aerial frame. So that's, you know, it's going to be basically the same as this, just uh, with, with an aerial. So that's, uh, I'll do that as well, and uh, just for whatever. Um, yeah, very good. First to fight, KFZ-13. Recommend. Okay, to a bit.